Hey guys, thanks for coming back to Sherry's Nail Corner. I have something so fun and exciting to show you. I've been playing around with this for a little while and I finally got it to work and I can't wait to show you how to do these. Blooming Gel Nail Polish Art. So this doesn't have dip powder. It's just a particular kind of alcohol ink, and I've seen these on Amazon, so I got this McCart brand. They make the files that I really like, and this whole set was $15.99, I believe, and then there was a coupon, um, but it comes with six colors. It's got yellow, azure, which is blue, lead, that one's black, gold, that one's a really dark orangish yellow. Um, green and then a fuchsia which is a really bright pink so I just kept mine in this little foam thing this is kind of what they look like I tested them um, so I'm gonna show you how you can do these because it's so fun and it looks amazing I was obviously obsessed with it and I did it on both of my hands all ten fingers so let's get started with this what you'll need for this look is a swatch stick or your nails so this one I've just lightly buffed and prepped because I'm going to be using Sparkling Co's gel base and then I'm going to use a Sparkling Co gel polish color um, this is this really cute little pink on it and this one's called look at her now it's from the itty bitty scritty from this month gel polish we'll need some rubbing alcohol this one is 91% alcohol, and I've got two little techniques I'm going to show you. Um, so one of them I'll use this little spray bottle for, and then another you would just fill a little medicine cup with some alcohol. So I'll have that aside also. And for the pink one, I'm gonna be using this Blooming Nail Fuchsia. So it comes in this little bottle, 0.21 fluid ounce, and it looks like this. It's really, really liquidy. And it's also got a little um, nail polish brush in here. And you'll also need some like lint-free wipes and then a gel top coat and a light, of course, to cure all of that. So the first thing you'll do is your gel base on your prepped nail. And I'm going to cure this for 60 seconds. Next thing you'll do is paint your color on it. So Sparkling Coat Gel Polish. Again, this really light cute pink. SG-158, look at her now. Your application for this color of gel polish underneath doesn't have to be perfect unless you're really not planning on putting a lot of color with the blooming gel polish on your nails. It really just helps show the color more and that's why I chose this light one. I'm going to cure this for 99 seconds. So I don't know if anybody else does this, but do you ever have a favorite finger whenever you're doing your manicure or you just really love how one in particular turned out? This one of this set is definitely this ring finger. I really like how marbled it turned out. It didn't get kind of splotchy. So let me know in the comments below if you always have a favorite finger of a manicure. So now that this is cured, you're going to get your little wipe and some alcohol and wipe off the sticky inhibition layer that is on gel polish. So I'm just going to swipe that on here and it kind of changes the look of it just because it's not as shiny as before and that's totally fine. Next is the fun part. So I've got the Blooming Gel Fuchsia. I'm also going to try this Blooming Gel Yellow and see how it turns out. I'm hoping it'll give it a sort of tie-dye effect. I've tried this a couple different ways. Um, I've also got these real tiny little brushes, but it just doesn't really 
do the same thing that I wanted, but that's always an option too. So you really don't want to put your brush soaking wet on top of your little swatch. You just kind of trace it on, whatever design you want. Then you can go back and add more little spots of color on here. And the more where you touch onto another spot, it's gonna get darker and almost just make it really dimensional and change that. And just be careful without with these bottles that you don't tip them over. Okay, now let's add some yellow on here. I'm gonna put a little bit of pink on this yellow spot and then just a little bit more yellow. And you can kind of see how that's real fluid and it just kind of changes the whole thing. Now, while there's lots on here, one thing that I liked to do was just spritz this with alcohol. And you can just see it change. And now it's got a really watercolor vibe. Just blow drying this real quick. Air drying rather. And then you can go back in and add little more touches of color. And then I'm just gonna set this aside and let it air dry. Now I wanted to show you exactly how I did this particular look. That was just the fun one. So I've got a swatch stick um, already ready just to put on the alcohol. I've already done gel base, the gel color. This blue is this really light milky blue, also from Sparkle & Co gel polish line. Also from the Itty Bitty Scritty, it's SG-156 Arctic Fairy, and it's a really light milky blue, and that's what I've got underneath this whole manicure too, and it really just let the colors pop out. So for this one, I'm gonna use the Blooming Nail Gel Polish in Lead, which is like a dark grayish, almost black. And then I'm also gonna use the Azure, which is the blue that you see on my fingers. So for these, let me pop these open. I used a little bit of a different brush and a different technique on this. Whenever you use a small little sprayer bottle, it really spreads the color and makes it look really watercolor. But if you want it to be just a little bit more concentrated, um, you can kind of see how it's got little darker rings of the blue and the black in it. The way that I did that was with a little brush. And it's just one of these little stiffer manicure brushes and it really lets you pick up a lot of alcohol and just kind of dab it onto. Also for this technique, I did smaller little circle blobs just like that. And then I went in with the lead, a little bit lighter handed. And you really just polka dot it on. Then you can go back in and just let it bleed into itself. And that's what really makes the thicker little rings of the color. And if you kind of tap them onto each other, it kind of spreads more fluidly. All right, so I've got a little ramekin dish. I'm just gonna spray some of this alcohol into my dish, that way I can use it. Then you're just gonna dab your brush into it, soak up a pretty good amount, but then kind of squish it out. Then you can just touch it onto your design. Just in random spots too, and that will really help it kind of bleed in some more. You can kind of see it's changing the look of this. I wanted mine to be more color concentrated, so I didn't leave a whole lot of the black, or rather this the light blue of the sparkle and gel behind there. And then if you feel like you took off too much, you can always go back in and add just another little concentrated drop. 
you can really see it change. Put black on a couple more spots. Grab my brush again. There we go, I'm pretty happy with that. And there we go. So I'm just gonna let this air dry too, and I'll be right back, I'll show you the last step. All right, so I air dried those. I just blasted a little fan I have over here. I wanted to show you um, another one that I made earlier. So this one I did on a pink background, and I did pink and blue, and I spritzed alcohol with my tiny little sprayer from pretty far away, just so little dabs would touch it. And you can kind of see how it got those little cell sections on it. And then on this side, it got a pretty heavier spray of the alcohol and it got more watercolor. So that's another little effect you can do. Really fun. And then I took this one that I made at the beginning of the video and pretty lightly spritzed this one. And you can kind of see those small little alcohol spritz cells that are formed into that one. So this was super fun. I'm really excited to do some other looks with this. Um, let me show you the last step real quick. Basically all you do is wait for it to completely air dry so it's not going to bleed and you're going to cover it in a gel base coat and then um, cure it for another minute and a half or however long your gel base takes to cure and set up. So I'll finish these up real quick and that's going to be the end of my video. You really want to float it on here also because that'll um, really help you not to smear your design. Um, let's see, on this one it kind of smeared, but it doesn't really change the look of it too much. And I still think it looks pretty neat. So I got a pretty big blob on that and I'm just floating it over the whole nail. So fun. Let me cure that again. All right, so here's the finished product. Pretty cool. Now that I see this one compared to my nails, it's even more concentrated with that blue. Man, this is so fun. Here's my little tie-dye watercolor one with the little cells over here on this other side and the really bleeding colors over on that one. I can't believe this is nail stuff, man. This is, blows my mind. And then here's my little rainbow. I hope you guys will subscribe to my channel and hang out. Keep doing all this fun stuff with me. Let me know what the craziest nail art thing you've ever tried was. I want to try it too. See y'all next time. Bye.